Okay, so in this little short video, I'm gonna show you how to animate a camera move with inside of Maya. So if we look at mine, this is what I've got so far. I've got this lovely little camera move, which we can render out a shot of, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna delete my camera. So let's just go select this and delete. We now have no camera. So what I've got is I've got two panels. So if you can't find that, just go to um, panel, layout, sorry and two panes side by side, that's what I got. Right, um, what I wanna do now is I actually wanna create a camera because this is the perspective view. You can see it says persp down there and this is the side view, okay? Um, first of all, what I need to do, it, actually, what I did last time, I, I mentioned last time that I wanted to actually um, fix the glass texture. All I did is I went in and you know this sky dome so if we select the sky dome all i did is i rotated this i sort of um just got the rotation and rotated it around because we did have a really bright part behind the glass so if we render that um you'll notice that's gonna give us some really bright stuff in that glass whereas if we um just hit esc to stop um if we move this back around to where it was so if we just undo and now do a quick render um you'll see it's not as bright it was just a part of the hdri coming through and yeah what i could then do is i just went to the glass material and material attributes and I just increase the weight to 0.8. To be honest, don't worry about that. Just now focus on the animation of the camera. Anyway, let's get on to that then, folks. Um, so what I need to do is I've got side view, I've got perspective view. Let's go to create camera, and I'm just gonna click camera, okay? And you can see there's a little camera down there, and there it is. In my side, I wanna keep my perspective view. So in the side view, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go panels, perspective and camera one. And basically we are looking out of that camera down there. So you can see, have a look down there, as I move around, it's actually moving the camera. So what we wanna do is we wanna zoom out, come back, and we wanna to come to the first frame or where we want our camera on frame one. Okay, so let's make this wider as well. Now before we do that, we, we've got our camera to where we want it. Before we keyframe it, let's go to um, render settings up here. So click that, and then what you'll wanna do is come into the common tab and go, where is it? Scroll down and change presets to HD 1080. So that'll make the camera um, high definition. If we look at the attribute editor when we got the camera selected, you can see that our focal length is 35. If we wanted to change it, we can change it to 50, for example. I'm gonna keep mine at 35, okay? So this is the kind of view we've got. Also, what we wanna do is in this panel, go to view, camera settings, and turn on, where is it, resolution gate, okay? Basically, it's only gonna be rendering now, it, this just shows you the 1920 by 1080, so it's not gonna be rendering outside of here, it's just in this window. So let's frame this up, there we go, something like that for our first frame. Now, what we can do now is make sure, at the bottom we've got this timeline, make sure you're at frame zero. I have got 250 frames, you've probably got, 100 frames, okay? So yours probably looks something like this. You've only got a maximum of 100 frames. All you need to do is type, if I, I'm gonna do mine for 10 seconds, that's, that's all. So 250, type it in there, and now you've got access to 250 frames. So make sure you're on frame one, which you should be by default. Come into the channel box by here, and see, look at these numbers. As I move my camera, they'll change. So let's just line it up again. What I wanna do is sh sh hold click and highlight them. Right click, key selected. You'll notice we got this little red line. Come forward to 250 frames. Now let's move our camera view, move in a bit like this, and maybe move around something like, uh, maybe something like that. And again, they're still selected. Right click, make sure you move to 250 frames again. Right click, key selected. So you'll have a keyframe at the beginning and the end. So this is what you've got. Very much like an After Effects, it's just a camera pushing in. Let's have a look at it from this view. This little blue thing by here is our camera, so you can see as we move through, it pushes in and out, okay? And it updates our view by here. So when we actually come to render a sequence of images, it'll render from this view, and then that's what you've got. Now if I play it through, what you'll notice is, if I click play, yours may play through, so let's just wait there. 
click this view. Uh, yours may play through really, really, really fast, not as slow as mine. What you're going to do is just go to these settings and it'll say frame rate, make sure it's 25 frames per second. And in here, it'll say playback speed. If it's set to play every frame, this is what it'll do. It'll just go through really, really fast, okay? But you want to make sure it's 25 frames per second times one. That's just basically real time speed and make sure it's 25 frames per second up here. If it was 24, and this will say 24 FPS times one, don't worry if it does. Just click save. And now, if we play through, notice at the end, it's going slower, but notice at the end, it slows down. It's automatically got an easy ease on there, and it eases out of that. So what we want to do is, we want to see those keyframes again, the red lines, select the camera. Like I said, as you come to the end, let's keep on, let's play. It, it slows down and we don't want that, or I don't in this case. So just come on to frame 250, right click, tangents and linear. Come back to the beginning on frame one, right click, tangents and linear. And now if we just come through to this bit, watch when it gets to the end, it won't slow down gradually, it'll just carry on and come to an abrupt stop back to the beginning. So that is how you animate a camera inside of um, I nearly said After Effects, inside of Maya, okay? So that's our nice little camera. So when we actually come to batch render the sequence, we'll render this view and that's what we'll get. So in the next um, lesson, what we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at lighting our scene, then we'll look at some final render settings and then we're gonna batch render the shot and we will be done. So yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial.